I'm so scruffy today. Oh. Hello, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Welcome to my little corner of the internet where I sit and chat about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and weaving. If you're new, you are most welcome and if you've been here once or many times before, thank you so much for joining me again. I know there are tons of channels to choose from and lots of amazing content in YouTube land and all over the internet um, so I really do appreciate you taking some time out of your busy week to spend with me. I have got some knitting, some crochet and some spinning to waffle on um, about this week. Hopefully a nice mix of creative pursuits and I've got a unexpected but um, very welcome acquisition to chat to you about at the end as well as just some general life chatter. As you can see I'm sat out in my garden today. Um, I'm feeling a bit distracted because there's quite a lot of ambient noise so I hope you will forgive me but um, it's really warm today. It's very overcast here in South Wales but it's one of those days where you just feel hot and sticky um, just breathing. <laughs> so there was no way that I could sit in the craft attic today and chat to you. Um, there's quite a nice cool breeze at points um, out here so I've brought all of my stuff out to show you and um, I hope you will forgive any kind of background noises and maybe we might have to do a bit of chopping and editing if we get um, some really big interruptions but we'll see how it goes it was either try this or not record at all today anyway let's get on with the crafting content shall we I think I'll start with crochet because it's been a couple of weeks since we've had any crochet content and if you have been following along for a while um, this is not the crochet project that you might be expecting. Um, since I boldly said that I was going to um, give some priority and concentrate on my Babette blanket I've not touched, I've not picked up that project again. <laughs> what can I say? Sometimes things just go that way don't they? Um, as you know, I'm super busy work-wise at the moment, although the last week um, it hasn't been as bad as some of the previous weeks, and I'll chat about that a little bit towards the end. Um, so I have been able to carve out a little bit more creative time for myself this week, but I just haven't felt drawn to picking up that um, blanket, and I guess because the weather has been so hot and humid here this last um, sort of week or so, um, I don't really feel the need to be working on a woolly blanket. So I'm sure the urge will come back to work on that project soon. But instead, um, the universe seems to have pointed me in the direction of a completely unexpected crochet project, which I think is gonna become um, somewhat of a long-term project for me. Let me explain more. If you have followed for a while, you know that myself and some of the regular customers um, of Yarn and Yarns, my bricks and mortar yarn shop, um, have regularly put together packages to send off to Knit for Peace, which is a charitable organisation here in the UK that will accept knitted and crocheted items and find appropriate um, charities, organisations to donate those items to. Um, they very kindly sent me a letter this week. Anytime you send off a package to them, um, they tend to either email you acknowledgement um, or every now and then you get something in the mail from them, which is really lovely. Um, and this week they sent me a letter and um, some of these lovely bookmarks that they produce um, on this side obviously is a washing line full of items and then the back side is actually um, got a ruler on, which is really nice um, with obviously the charity details on the back. Um, but they sent me this letter saying thank you for your most recent donation um, and then there's always a paragraph at the end which kind of talks about what items they're most in need of and it says at the moment we're in need of adult garments and um, also hats, scarves, gloves, mittens, socks. Um, we also need large blankets so I guess anything that's not a baby blanket um, and twiddle muffs. So I got the letter, read it, thought, yeah, um, kind of squirreled the information away and didn't think any more of it. And then I was up in my craft attic um, thinking about how I might be able to make some extra space up there. Um, as 
you know if you have followed the channel for a while my shop is closing down um, and we're going to have a big influx of the stock that I haven't sold it's going to have to come back into the house and we're going to need to squeeze it all in so um, I'm thinking of every eventuality and I was thinking okay well if I move this around in the craft room then I, if needs be I can have you know a pile of boxes and bags um, up there it'll be a complete chaotic mess um, but at the moment needs must we're gonna have to um, kind of squeeze things as in as and where we can and accept the fact that the house is going to be a bit chaotic for the foreseeable um, but as I was kind of lurking around the room I came across a little basket that I had um, sort of lurking in a stack I've got a stack of these there's about four of them um, in a sort of rack um, and this is full of uh, little bits and pieces that as you can see there's some um, tapestry wool skeins in here um, but mostly it's full of like textured bits and pieces and I haven't thought about this little basket or used it in years um, I collected a whole bunch of these kind of textured yarns um, in small quantities just from swaps and um, I think I bought a couple of little bundles on eBay um, when I was making um, cloth dolls and um, so these kind of like textured yarns are brilliant for hair and trimming on clothing and also I used them to um, add embellishments to fabric postcards for a while while I was um, making those and I thought oh wouldn't it be great to use these up and so I came back round to twiddle muffs um, I also heard Lottie of um, Cancer is a Lifestyle um, chatting about um, twiddle muffs this week as well so um, that kind of reminded me of the knit for peace letter and I felt like everything is kind of pushing me in that direction so I grabbed this basket and this one um, which houses my DK weight and above leftovers I don't have lots of sort of DK and chunky and Aaron weight leftovers um, but I do have a few as you can see um, I've got this uh, little basket's worth and I thought you know what I'm going to have loads of odd balls and um, I've got some leftovers at the shop um, which either were donated for the charity basket um, or were leftover skeins that um, people just said have you got use for um, and sometimes I donate um, leftovers to other local charities church groups that we're making so I've got a big bag of sort of leftovers at the shop that's going to be coming home soon and I thought you know what between now and the end of the year wouldn't it be nice if I just worked up a few um, twiddle muffs and tried to work through um, I'm most interested in emptying this basket of these little bits and pieces of textured yarn because I don't really have any other use for them. But yesterday I started and almost finished uh, my first twiddle muff. If you're not um, aware of these it's basically just a tube of fabric knitted or crocheted um, with lots of texture on it and I have got to embellish this as well so you'll see twiddle muffs with buttons, bells, um, beads, all sorts and they're basically great for um, people with sensory issues and um, autism, dementia, um, anyone that kind of like needs something to fiddle with basically um, m makes good use of these twiddle muffs. So here is my first one, almost finished. So as you can see I just grabbed a whole bunch of leftovers, um, some of them I held double, um, some of these are super chunky yarns uh, left over from a blanket that I made for James's parents last year and um, every now and then I have dotted in some of those um, textured yarns and yeah just crocheted away. Um, rows of trebles, um, double crochets if you follow US terms and I also added a couple of sort of eyelet rows. Um, on my own crochet blankets um, I love <laughs> these um, like the spaces where you have like holes either deliberately or through your trebles and I find that brings me a lot of comfort when I'm sat in the winter um, if I can kind of lace my fingers through uh, the holes I don't know why I just find that quite comforting and I also thought um, if I leave some of these eyeletty rows it'd be really easy to tie bits of ribbon and stuff around them um, to add extra texture and I've got some containers of ribbons beads and buttons up in the craft attic as well and um, so they don't get used very often anymore either um, so this is going to be a good way to use up some languishing bits and pieces um, from around the craft room 
I haven't actually sorted out my ends yet. Um, I'm not sure what to do with the ends. Um, part of me is wondering whether to just leave them on the inside uh, because I've seen some of these twiddle moths with beads and bits and pieces inside. Um, so I feel like if the ends are inside, that gives, if you want to put your hands in for warmth, um, that does give some extra bits and pieces to play with. Um, but I'm not sure if that's um, optimal if I, or if I'm just being lazy. I'm not sure. Um, so twiddle muff number one, almost complete. As I say, I've got to add ribbons and some buttons. So uh, made a start on a second one as well because these work up really quickly. So I'm trying because they're quite crazy with the textures. I'm not sitting far enough um, away from the camera. Hang on, let me move the camera back a bit so I can hold this up. Um, that's a bit better. Um, because they're full of like crazy texture and things anyway, I'm going to try and stick. I think to colour families and um, so as you can see this one is pinks and purples the last one was pinks purples with a bit of brown and I've started to bag up my leftovers in colours so I've got blues and creams got one of yellow etc etc um, so yeah I'm just going to work my way through I'm holding a lot of the yarns double because it just works up um, a lot more quickly I'm using a six millimeter hook um, so yeah you might get sick and tired of seeing twiddle muffs <laughs> Not a usual kind of project for me, um, but I am really enthusiastic about this. I think it's nice to be doing something for charity. Um, I do the odd bit and piece for charity, but I feel like this is a project that I'm going to stick with for quite a while as I work through um, my leftovers. And my aim is to do um, sort of 15 minutes to half an hour of crochet a day um, and try and make a stack of these to send away to Knit for Peace. Don't think there's much else to say about those <laughs> if you have made um them before then please let me know in the comments um i kind of get the impression that anything goes really um, as long as it's got texture and bits and pieces to play with i don't think there are particularly any rules um for those but if you've got any hints or tips or ideas um as i say this is my first foray into this kind of charity making then i would um really appreciate um you leaving those below in the comments on to spinning next i think because um spinning is going to be a fairly quick um, segment spinning has been difficult to fit in this last week i have it's been so hot and humid and sticky as i say but i just haven't really felt the call to play with um fiber like trying to draft fiber just um has not been something that I've been drawn to this week. Um, I've done about an hour or so on my wheel um, working on my fleece spin and I thought I'd show you a um, drop spindle project that I um, mentioned in last week's vlog but didn't have to hand. Um, so I'm working on some Ashford fibre um, on my Whimsy Wood and Wool um, spindle. Um, so I bought this from the maker when I was in New Zealand. Um, Tej the maker now lives in Belgium and you'll find her on Facebook. And if I remember, I'll link her page below. Um, but yeah, I'm just spinning through the second half of some Ashford Sliver. Um, it's a wool and silk blend in the sunset colorway. There is the packaging. And I spun up the first half of this fiber ages ago. I actually started while we were on our trip to New Zealand, which was two years ago now. Um, and yeah spun up the first half and then for one reason and another didn't get around to doing the second half um so i have now started the second half of this fiber just beautiful colors absolutely me um and i'm going to be slowly working my way through that on my drop spindle in the coming weeks I'm not in any rush to finish and um, I don't have a plan for this yarn. Um, the last batch of this that I spun I turned into a storm shawl by Hohi Locatelli which is an absolutely beautiful shawl um, and so I might look out for another one skein a uh, sort of larger shawl. Um, I'm not in the past I haven't been a huge fan of one skein shawls as I haven't bound them big enough. Um, apologies I've lost my thread a little bit had to take a little bit of a break as there was a neighbor interruption but you know i'm outside that was to be expected um i think i was talking about one skein shawls and how um unless they're super lacy which means they block out to a bigger size i've not been a fan of them in the past but i really love my storm shawl by hohe locatelli um so there is a chance that i might look for another one skein shawl of a 
similar design that's going to uh, kind of stretch on blocking for this because these colours are just absolutely beautiful completely um, in my menagerie of favourite colours. <laughs> Got a orange vibrant smile. Um, no rush for this spin. Um, no particular plans. Um, it's beautiful fibre to spin with. Um, so I'm just going to pick it up as and when I have an opportunity to. And hopefully little by little, uh, the second half of this will progress. Well, finally on to knitting. I have three works in progress to share with you today. The first is a sock project. Um, I am of course knitting, uh, knitting along with everyone for our um, Yarn and Yarns Summer of Socks Knit Along. We started back in July middle of July I think and we're going right through till the 14th of September and we're just trying to knit or finish as many socks as we can. Um, I'm trying to finish. I had six sock works in progress, try and say that ten times fast, um, when we started this knit along and I finished one pair so far and I'm working on the second pair and um, this is from some West Yorkshire spinners um, signature four ply in the Bullfinch colourway which is part of the Country Birds collection. And I'm on my second sock. Um, so last week um, when I showed you, I showed you something that looked very similar to this. Um, I was here where my sock um, progress keeper is. I was just about to put in the heel flap and gusset and as you can see since then I've finished the first sock. Um, this is a really basic three by one rib pattern and I'm going to be gifting these to my father-in-law for Christmas. As you can see I am a good way into the second sock now. Um, I've done the flap and I've just about um, finished the turn um, so I now need to pick up the gusset stitches and then it's just knit 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 down the foot and I'm really pleased with how these are turning out. Um, it would be really nice to have a pair in the gift basket in the not too distant future um, so I reckon with um, maybe a little bit of knitting every day. Um, I should be able to get these finished by next week. Um, when you think I've kind of, well, I've knit a sock basically since we last um, spoke. I've, I've done a foot and a leg. So um, it should be able to, um, hopefully, fingers crossed and all that, um, get the second one of these done. Um, it's a very affordable um, and durable sock yarn. So I'm knitting these on 2.5s and um, 68 stitches, um, which is, a slightly bigger needle and slightly more stitches than I usually use um, but I like these to have lots and lots of stretch for my father-in-law he does have um, problems with um, his circulation on occasion um, so I would like to make a nice stretchy sock so they will hopefully fit um, even if he's having a day where he's got problems with his ankles so uh, yeah how are you doing with your um, sock projects? We've had quite a few um, finished objects now. Um, I think there's creeping up towards 20 maybe over in the Ravelry thread. Um, I've had um, a few people tag me on Instagram with both finished socks and works in progress, which I love to see. And I've even had a couple of people email me pictures of their finished sock. Um, so a few people um, approached me to say they weren't using Ravelry or social media at the moment. Um, so if that's you and you'd like to join in with our sock knit along, um, then please email me pictures of your finished sock projects, um, yarn and yarns at yahoo.com. I'll put that down on the screen now. I'm looking forward to getting those finished and if I manage to finish those at some point this week I'm going to move straight on to my um, self-patterning sheep yarn um, from Artistic Yarns by Abby that was gifted to me by the lovely Jeanette and I started those as one of my 12 cast-ons this year um, so I'm looking forward to getting back to those socks soon. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Second project was my new cast on from last week, which is the Rift Tea, um, a pattern by Jacqueline C. Slack. Um, the pattern is available on Ravelry. Um, I'll link my Ravelry project page below, which will take you um, to the pattern page on Ravelry if you're um, still using uh, Ravelry. Um, if you're not, all of Jacqueline's um, patterns are available on Payhip. A lot of designers, given the accessibility issues with Ravelry, um, are finding different platforms for their patterns, which I think is brilliant. And um, I will link to Jacqueline's website below. Um, so if you want to find any of her patterns, if you pop onto her website, you'll find links to the relevant pages on Payhip as well. 
Um, I'm knitting this. Um, I'm keeping this in a beautiful um, patchwork project bag that was gifted to me by my lovely friend Mandy. And um, the yarn is from Knit Crate. Um, I think it's called o Ordine Wools. And I think they're made exclusively um, for Knit Crate. Um, it's a blend of cotton, linen, lyocell and nylon. And this lovely, lovely yarn um, was gifted to me by Zoe of Pins and Needles. And I chatted about that last week. And I cast on and knit the first rib um, for the rift. I have now done the second bit of rib and have joined to working in the round. Um, I've got, it's a cropped um, top. So I don't have tons more left on the body. I think I've knit something like five out of the eight inches that the pattern suggests and I am probably going to work to pattern because I am quite tight on the yardage um, for this um, project so um, yeah just round and round stocking it now with a little bit of twisted rib detail on the side <sighs> Jane's interruption that time I feel like this episode is going to be a complete shambles but today is the only day I've got an opportunity to record, so I'm just going to have to make do. <laughs> uh, so yes, I am knitting away on the rift. I've got a couple of inches left before I um, split for the front and the back. It's a cropped t-shirt, um, so uh, not too much left to go on the body. Um, I'm knitting these on the suggested 5mm needles. As always, I am going by the seat of my pants and I did not gauge swatch for this I know I'm not getting gauge at the moment but this fabric is super stretchy and I am assuming um, because of the fiber content uh, that it's likely to stretch out um, once it's been soaked and also with wear so I'm not too worried about that um, my biggest concern is whether I've got enough um, meterage to complete the garment I think I've got 701 yards and I think the size I'm knitting calls for 700 yards so it's going to be pretty touch and go <laughs> depending on whether um, the designer has added any um, sort of contingency they sometimes add an extra 10% um, so we, sh we shall see the rift and then final project should be a quick one um, it is the dude <laughs> Of course it's the dude. Um, so this is a cardigan that I'm knitting for James. It's a pattern by Andrea Wrangle. I'm sure you all know this off by heart already. Um, I'm knitting it in um, Cascade Eco, which is the yarn called for in the pattern. And last week when I showed you this project, I was down here, I just started this section and I'm now halfway through that um, middle color work section. So yeah, I'm actually at the halfway point of this section, I think, um, maybe slightly further on. I think that is about halfway um, and then I've got the armhole shaping to go once I reach the top of this colour work section um, the armhole shake, shaping kicks in and the rows get narrower so hopefully by this time next week I'll have finished the main body of the knitting and then I'll just have the facings and the collar to add so I'm not going to talk too much about that project because we've seen it many times before <laughs> So yeah, I think that's um, just about it for the making this week. Um, I've got one um, acquisition to show you and a little bit of chit chat about my week. Um, so let's just quickly show you my acquisition. My lovely friend Sylvia was having a de-stash over on her Instagram page. Um, she has decided to reopen her Etsy shop, which is lovely news. And she was clearing the decks a little bit um, before she did that. Um, so I managed to grab a skein of Regia um, from her. I really loved the combination of the grey, blue and the sort of brick red um, and I thought I'd knit a pair of socks for myself when I first um, picked this up on D-Stash but now I see it in person I think my mother-in-law would really like these and um, she prefers um, I knit her a couple of pairs of socks every year one for her birthday one for Christmas and she has remarked that she likes the more neutral um, socks a little better because they go with more of her clothes the concept of matching socks and clothes just <laughs> doesn't really compute with me but that's what she likes and there's no problem with that um, so these are just a nice fun um, sort of stripe pattern and my mother-in-law has tiny feet so I reckon um, I'll get a pair for her out of that and with the leftovers I'll probably be able to get a pair for me if I find some sort of contrast for the heels toes and cuffs and I also picked up from Sylvia um, I'm going to show you this in the box um, a whole bunch of 
indie dyed leftovers really excited to have those they'll be fabulous for my crochet granny stripe blanket when i get back to that which i will do this autumn and winter um, in the box sylvia also really kindly sent me this drop spindle and um, buried in the bottom is some fiber as you can see um sylvia started to spin um on the drop spindle but she's decided that um it's not for her um her hands um are, are not a fan of the drop spinning motion um so i'm going to be giving away this spindle and fiber um at some point in the next few weeks i think um so watch out for that coming up and thank you so much for donating that um sylvia how's your week been my mine has been pretty steady this week um i've kind of reached the point where i've done a lot of stuff that i can do at home now and i've done quite a lot of the stuff that i can do in the shop um while the shop is open if that makes sense um this is the last week that the shop's open to customers so from um, Friday the shop will be closed and then it will be all systems go getting everything cleared out but I'm in that sort of lull period where there's very little that I can do so things have been um, busy but a lot easier this last week um, and I'm kind of going to be enjoying the calm uh, before the storm to say that I'm not busy because I absolutely <laughs> am but I'm not completely hectically busy like I have been um, in the last sort of four six weeks um, so yeah it's quite nice to have that little bit of breather and it's meant that I've been able to make quite good progress on a lot of my knitting projects um, which is really nice um, I've not been quite so tired in the evenings and have managed to squeeze a little bit extra in before this video goes up I am also hoping to finally start my patreon page um, nothing will change here in terms of the channel content um, I am going to put several tiers on Patreon I think I'm not super versed with how it works um, but I'm going to try and keep it simple for now because I've got so much going on at the moment um, I just need to keep it as simple as possible so there'll be several tiers of support um, but there won't be any additional benefits for the tiers it'll just be whatever you want can afford to um, donate um, in support of the channel um, but please don't feel bad if you don't have the means to do that um, I completely understand um, it's just a way for me to try and um, put aside the time to make these videos it could be quite time consuming I don't often kind of mention that fact because it's time that I inspect that I really enjoy spending um, but going forward as my income is changing then I need to look to find different ways of trying to um, bring in some income and also to make sure that I can dedicate the same amount of time as I have been doing to the content that I put up here so with any luck you'll find a patreon um, link below this video and um, if you're able to donate on a regular basis to the podcast then I would be so so grateful the coffee page will also remain for anyone who is interested in supporting the channel but maybe is unable to do so on that regular basis so thank you to anyone who has made a coffee donation this week um, it is my birthday next week so I'm hoping to order my Ashford e-spinner this week um, it's been almost two years of me saving up um, to get this it's not a cheap piece of equipment um, so I'm really excited to um, potentially have that for my birthday next week we shall see I need to get on and see where I can find it as um, available to purchase so yeah once I've edited this sorted out patreon my final task of the day I think is to order my e-spinner so excited <laughs> thank you so much to um, anyone who um, made a coffee link uh, donation and specifically said please put this towards your e-spinner um, it's made all the difference to me getting that last 50 or 60 pounds that I needed um, to be able to do this so I'm so so grateful of course um, I am grateful for any support that you give the channel um, just by being here and watching you are supporting the channel for liking for commenting for subscribing and um, for sharing that you're watching um, all of that is um, just amazing and fabulous support and I'm so so grateful to have this community here even more so in the last few weeks where things have just been completely hectic it's just been 
uh, nice to know that I've got um, so many of you out there rooting for me and willing me on and keeping me going. <laughs> helping me to uh, get through these busy and emotional <laughs> few weeks really. Hey, I am just popping in from my future, your past, <laughs> time travel, so confusing. As you can see, I've got my serious editing face on and I tried to record a segment outside to say that I'd received um, some lovely donations for the window display this week from Erin and Kelly and Jen. Uh, but when I went to edit the footage, it was just way too noisy in the background and couldn't really make out what I was saying. So I received lovely packages from those ladies and um, I promised them all that I would put a, another little segment showing off the window display again, um, just so that they could see their items in situ. It was a little bit um, sunny, quite a few reflections on the window, um, but hopefully you will get to see all of your lovely items um, on display. So I'm going to slot that in here. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up there. So um, as always, let me know below what you're working on, how your week's been. Um, if you've got any hints and tips for twi twiddle muffs, please let me know. Um, if you're working on socks, uh, let me know all about that below as well. And don't forget to keep tagging me over on Instagram and send me pictures of your finished socks if you'd like to go into the prize draw um, for our knit along, um, which will happen um, after the 14th of September. Until we get to spend time together again, I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy. Great big woolly hugs to you all. Bye for now.